<laughs> well, those of you who remember me starting a show saying, hello, that was 27 years ago. Charlie, like joke, like joke, I grow. I grow, 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 grow. You know, first they used to call me the, the youngest old man in Ghana. Now I'm starting to feel like the oldest young man. Man, they grow. <laughs> anyway, 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 you know, since 27 years, I was doing this show called Talk Shop on Radio. Still, uh, people bother me with it. Okay, sir, so bring Talk Shop back. You say, why? You know, there are people on radio, they're doing active things. They are younger and stronger. Me or oh man, now at the age of 67, now I'm going to come and do a radio talk show, you know. But the pressure, now, nah, the pressure has come. So I decided, maybe I'll do a version of it. But this time it's going online and it's going to be on YouTube on the KSM Show channel. And it's still KSM, but this show is called Talk Shop. It used to be on Vibe FM way back in the day, 1997. Used to be on Vibe. Talk Shop, where we say we tell the truth and let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we tell the truth and let the chips fall where they may. And I always used to say this thing when, uh, on air. Truth crash to the earth shall rise again. We have no crow away. It is a cock. You can't sink it. Who oh, suppresses it then, it will rise back to the top. So anyway, this is the maiden edition of Talk Shop online on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to take a short commercial break. When I come back, the show will begin. On Talk Shop, those of you who remember, we talk about everything. everything. So let's take a short break when we come back. Today's topics, we are talking about three things today. The first, I want to advise all of us something about Ghana government. The second thing, we're going to be talking about do so. And the third thing we're going to be talking about, folks, this is an election year. This is the time we're going to hear all the promises. I have an advice for you concerning the promises your politicians will make you. You can't miss this show. Stick around after the commercial break. Talk Shop will be back. Is it the luxurious rooms? or the serene green surroundings? Is it the tempting swimming pool? Or the classy conference room? Or the cute gift shop? Maybe it's our chef's array of cooking delights. Whichever way, it's all about Cactus Creek. A most respected hotel. 055 -039 -5007. My name is Angela Meto, a massage therapist at Cactus Creek. My job is simply to pamper you with the three hours, to relax you, to revitalize you, and to rejuvenate you. Come and let me pamper you. 055 We're back, we're back, we're back. We're back on Talk Shop. Mm. We tell it like it is and let the chips fall with me. Well, the first thing I want to start with, this is a general mistake that we all make. We have made that mistake, uh, it's now beginning to sound like the normal thing. Not just us, everybody, even the presidents make this mistake. It's about the government of Ghana. 
Folks, listen to this. There is only one government of Ghana. Period. Hmm? We don't have anything called the MPP government or the NDC government or the CPP government or the whatever government. No, 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 no. It is only one government and it is the government of Ghana. Now, what we have rather is the government of Ghana under an MPP administration. That's what we have now. It is the government of Ghana, but it is under an MPP administration. Or it can be the government of the, the government of Ghana, but under an NDC administration or CPP or whatever. So please, let's, I just, I know why I'm saying this. You know, I hear presidents come and my, and my government is a new fool. Oh, government, government, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh? And my government, and my, the government is not for you. The government is the government of Ghana. You can say my administration. So this one is free advice to all the presidents who stop saying my government, my government, my government, government, and your dear. The government is the government of Ghana, but it is your administration. Having said that, it's something slight, but tell me, I'm here, I'm who did me? I hear it all the time, very, very slight too, but it irks me when I hear something, oh, the MPP government, the NDC government, the CPP government, no. You see, sometimes, quickly, you know, we have judgment debt. Do you know what, why, what happens for, with judgment debt? Let's say maybe uh, the NDC is in power. Then they go and negotiate a deal, right? And then they leave power, and then people comes to power, and they say, ah, this deal you negotiated, I don't understand. So I'm going to abrogate the deal, Mempe deal, no. We forget that even though it was signed under an NDC administration, it was signed for the government of Ghana. So when you come, that administration changes, and somebody comes in and says, oh, I'll cancel this contract, that's when they take us to court for judgment debt. The meaning of judgment debt is that one administration has decided that they will not honor a contract that has been signed in the name of the government of Ghana. Okay? No, this is just by the way. I want to throw this out there because I'm tired of hearing my government, my government, government. Issue two. Mm. The issue that everybody is talking about in Ghana. If you take, if you take 10 people, trust me, eight people will be talking about this. Airing, doom so. <laughs> right now, if you hear hum 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 in the background, uh, don't worry, man, it's my it's my gen. <laughs> doom so. And, and 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 this this is what I want to say about doom so. I remember long ago when the first doom so happened under uh, Mahama, uh, Reverend Otabel. Remember what he said? He said, Dumso is a wisdom problem. That's how he described Dumso. Was it a wisdom problem? In effect, Dumso was happening because people who are paid to think and paid to do things were not thinking and doing things that the right way that they should be doing them. So he called the whole thing a wisdom problem. You know, now we are back in Dumso. And do you know something? I, I, I totally agree, because this, this era of Dumso is a wisdom problem. Let me explain this, folks. People of Ghana are crying, give us a timetable, give us a timetable, give us a timetable. The Minister of Energy said, open a timetable, I'm going with you. Have you heard of calls for a timetable? Ask those who want it to bring it. They should bring the timetable. If the, if the is. I, have, I haven't seen any timetable. So when the people are calling, I say you bring a timetable. What do you mean? Yeah, mama timetable there. Yeah, mama timetable china. You know. But what I want to explain is this. Listen to this, folks. It doesn't have to be like this. The problem we have in Ghana is this what I call petty political politics. Yeah, my politics and I get petty, so petty that especially now the, 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 the politics between MPP and DC has been reduced to levels of pettiness never seen before. And as I said here, Charlie, 
I'm 67 plus. <laughs> I'm 67 plus. I'm telling you, in all my life, as I started becoming mature and seeing things, I have never seen politics reduced to such level of pettiness. What is happening in Ghana right now? Petty politics ne queen. Honestly. You see, the politics has become so petty that our politicians are starting to think petty themselves. I won't mention any name, but I, I know of one politician, it's a member of parliament, agreeing with another politician, another member of parliament, and the politician said, even if we failed, we feel better than you. If you are comparing four years, four years. MPP administration, energy sector is 300 times better than John Mahama. But we are still experiencing doom so. Nobody has said we haven't. I'm just saying it's far much better than John Mahama ever did. You do admit that there's doom so. That is the word you used. I have never used that word. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we are at that level yet. That failing cry of Mugrezo. Some fail better than the other. Even if we fail, we have failed better than you. You know, it doesn't make sense. Folks, Muti Demika know. When you have a mindset that has been reduced to what I call the lowest common denominator, that's what you think. And that's how you think. And I see me feeling cry, cry, who's who feel it Your feeling cry was worse than mine. Masa. We should be teaching our children in schools how to aspire to the top. We should be teaching the love for excellence. Parents, I'm going to tell me, every child of yours, try, try and let them strive towards excellence. Not the lowest common de denominator. To the extent say, uh, because I uh, me, say me, me, me feel it, but who feel it more? Massa. Anyway. I'm saying that to say this, that we are in a doomso crisis. And if there was wisdom in this country, we wouldn't be going through what we are going through now. Why am I saying that? Because simply, folks, won't you? Simply, there's doomso. There are companies working who are spending huge sums of money, I'm budgeted for, on petrol to keep their factories running. Charlie, huge amount of money. I run a small joint, I wouldn't even call that a major corporation. Sometimes within the week, you know, full and quite about 5,000 Ghana cities. Only on only full, and this is minimum. I'm talking about the kinds of, of money people are spending because of doing so. So, me, I'm saying I don't care. Even if it's one month, Two months, three months, it costs businesses. Oh, the thing about young Africans, you know, we don't value the cost of anything. You know. And when I say business, oh, now your business is bro, near we. Business is bro, near we. Go to advanced countries, they'll sit down and compute. Say so business, yes, yes, umbrella. This is why. The amount of money they're losing, the amount of hours they're losing, the amount of productive they're losing. That's that is they base that to say essentially. Business is a bread. Hey, business is a bread. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Charlie. So I'm saying this. The doom so. I just had uh, what's his name, Mr. Henry Crapper. Thankfully, Mr. Henry Crapper says, "Oh, it will be solved by the end of next week," or as he put it, within the next few days. That's how he put it. I hope so. You hope so. We all hope so. And if it's actually solved in the next few days, all of us will be happy. But this is what I'm saying, you It means that they are aware that we are going through doing so. They know the extent of the problem we are going through doing so. So even if it was just one month, cry, why do you say, say, oh, yeah, we're going through doing so. But for the next month that we're going through doing so, no, here's a schedule for businesses, for this, this, this. So you know when you have power and you don't. Even if it's one month, it's okay. Come up with a schedule. We'll all be happy. And we'll praise 
you know, for, for, for proactive thinking. But you know why there's no schedule? Folks, I mean, you glasses, no. You know why there's no schedule? Because there was do so and then this. And we are trying to prove, say, hey, do so no, is better than your do so. You see? It's a wisdom problem. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is a wisdom problem. I mean, I mean, honestly, I, and I know the people who come attacking me, and I don't care, feel free. They say, Mr. Hmm? this is the seven. Let's tell the truth for once and let the chips fall where they may. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> listen to me. Let's say, Doom so by If this was a serious country, straight away the Ministry of Energy, the, 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 the ECG, gridlock, who are all over the get together quickly. Charlie, this thing has come. We know what the problem is. It's going to take us three months to fix it. Oh, Charlie, this is going to inconvenience Ghanaians. Okay, what do we do? You have a meeting. You come up with a timetable. You tell the people of Ghana. Oh, Great Co, ECG, so and so. All of us stakeholders, we have met. And we can assure you that this time, it will only be three months or two months or one month. But because we don't want to inconvenience your work, because we don't want to inconvenience big, big companies, because you don't want to engage families. I'm only talking about companies, so it's affecting families. Because we don't want to inconvenience all of you, please, here's a schedule for the next three months, for the next two months, for the next one month. Period. Now, nah, bah. But the reason people can do anything that simple, <laughs> because nobody wants to feel better than the other. Charlie, I'm very, very serious. Let me just show you two clips of of one is, um, I think he was a, a, a member of parliament for Dutobri, back in the days when Dumso came. I want you to hear what he said. I, I'm, I'm going to make a point. Take a look at this. For almost four years, between 2012 and 2016, you were experiencing what we call Dumso. Dumso was, was a devil that was introduced by the previous government led by His Excellency, the... It was a devil. It was a devil. Because you know the cost of Dumuso to Ghanaians. Lives were lost. Jobs were lost. People, people largely who suffered. And, it is a, and we don't want to hear anything about Dumuso. But I can tell you that if you wish that Dumuso will come back, never again, never again will we allow NDC to come back to power to bring back Dumso. Yeah. Never again. Did you hear the comment about Dumso? He made. Okay. So, what was supposed to be a national crisis, we have successfully in Ghana turned into a partisan issue. And a high and a no. Even I'm, I think at some point the president weighed in about doing so. A quick, a quick clip of what the president has said. Let's look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Doing so was a generational problem that Ghana was facing. And it's okay that as a nation, we admit that we were facing a serious problem. I remember I was doing a show in, at the British Council Hall in, oh my God, when was this? 99-ish. Back then, I must have shown, which was at the British Council Hall called the Saga of the Retainee. Folks, there was a whole scene I did and it was a mockery of the Dumso in Ghana. We didn't call it Dumso at that time. They're from the lights of. I did a whole routine on lights of in Ghana. 1999 or so. You know what I'm saying? It is Dumso. We have been with Dumso forever. Okay? So if we have a problem like this, why can't all of us as human beings 
as Ghanaians, sit down and say, Charlie, we have a generational problem from 1999, Charlie. Let's try and correct this. We didn't. Okay, fine. Yeah, and yeah. It's okay. Yeah, and yeah. We have learned from the facts here, and they say it brought this whole country into a crisis. So that is something we have learned. So we didn't do well by not attending to it. Okay? So the whole thing was put on Muhammad's head. He said, I'll fix it before I go. He did, and he fixed, but the elections he lost. And the interesting thing to me, folks, is that when the election was lost, MPP came into power, and one of the biggest accusations against the NDC was that they have given us extra power. To be specific, Mr. Speaker, the two main issues confronting the sector are firstly, the excess electricity generation which was procured during the NDC regime from independent power producers. We are basically throwing away money by paying for the remaining 60% of excess capacity which we do not actually consume. Excess generation. You can find it. You see it here. Excess generation. Folks, this is not about a power thing. This is about me venting. Say, yeah, you see wisdom here. Yeah. Things can be different. What can you use excess power for? What as a nation which has gone through a crisis. Now you have resolved the crisis to the point that you have excess power. And though that is what we are complaining about. What can we use success power for? So folks, I just came, I wanted to throw light on this for all of us to understand, say, if we can start understanding, say, yeah, you know, we are Ghanaians. We are. Okay, let's, let's forget saying you know, Ghanaians. Let's say uh, Muhammad messed up. That's why we got there, do so. Let's say that's, that's what we say, Muhammad or identity messed up. That's why we got to do so. Does it mean that we continue now on even when we have problems, we don't touch it because there are political reasons. We have reduced this country to a level where even when we have crisis, we, are, we don't have the capacity to solve it because it is partisan. And then when the power is on, when the power is off, but because of partisan considerations and because of the things we said in the past it has come back to haunt us. So as people who are intelligent, what we learn from this? Going forward, let us all start understanding that this is one country. Oh, if, if, if Ghana is sinking, the fact that we are under the MPP doesn't mean that then we sink some. It's one ship, we all go down. If you are under the NDC and we are sinking, it's one ship, we all go down. So if we, when we start thinking like this, when the nation becomes our priority and not our party, things will change. <laughs> and let, let me wrap up by saying this. I am not saying don't join any party or don't support your party. I'll never say that. Actually, I'll be a fool to say that. Say, oh, don't join, don't, join, don't join your party. Don't support your party. I'll be a fool to say that. You're free to join any party. To say, you can't party, we're going to cry. I say, two parties spend more years more. <laughs> I won't say you're free to join any party, MPP or NDC. But there's more, you know. But you're free to join any party. You're free to be loyal to any party. That's cool. But this is the problem. The fact that you belong to a party, the fact that you want to be loyal to a party, does not mean that when the party is messing up, we say them in fun, them in party, no, no. Massa, mess up there, baron. The problems that you create, you think you won't be affected. That is how we should start thinking. So that I will really, really respect you when you say me, me NDC. But Muhammad Tufu, I'm going to stop on him. And say, hmm. Me, me MPP. Me the MPP, I'm a fool, man. But now I can't say, what am I going to say? Then I start realizing that, wow. Awareness 
or awakening is happening in this country. And the youth of Ghana, the next, the next, the next uh, top shop I'm going to be doing is dedicated to the youth. Eh? Because I want you guys to start thinking. When the majority of the percentage that will vote for the president is in the hands of the youth. So when you abuse that power, or you let any politician to confuse you and you throw that power away, uh, very, very, very sad. So I'm going to do another show for you. And it's going to be based on the promises that politicians will make. And I advise you, the youth, which ones do you take serious? Which ones should you just throw away? You know, I think I came up with two things. One is called Dinob. Dinob. Dinob is dream, but no plan. If only Dinob. You sit down, the politicians will come and sell you dreams. Very, very lofty dreams. But no plan. So what you are voting for is not a plan to rescue your country. What you are voting for is a dream of a politician. Who has come up with that dream because he knows that that is how they will get your vote. It's called the knob. In my next show, I explain it. So you just, you just make sure you don't miss this talk shop, my online show, which is going to be on YouTube as the KSM Show channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And then start waiting for the time I do this whole presentation of the knob. Dreams, but no plan. There's another one. It's called Pinos. <laughs> it's called Pinos. We have the knob and then we have Pinos. You know what Pinos is? You, the youth of Ghana, write this down as I'm talking. Hey, KSMC, be the knob. Yeah, the knob be a dream, but no plan. And then Pinos. P N O S. Do you know what that is? Plan, but no substance. <laughs> I'm telling you, folks, any plan, voters know. You know, they'll come and talk about dreams. Dream, big, 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 big. And next time, I'll tell you the exact thing I'm talking about. Dreams. And then you're happy. Then you go and fall for the dreams, forgetting that there's no plan. No. We'll be dying like we vote too for. And some will attempt to put a plan in the manifesto. But if you check the plan part very closely, you see that this is a plan but no substance. Benosh. Thank you very much for the amazing edition of Talk Shop online on the KSM Show channel. And you're going to get this only on YouTube. By the way, folks, if you have a company, if you have any product, if you have anything that you want to be associated with Talk Shop online, I'm going to give you a number to call. Hmm? Call this number. The number is 054-278-1896. 054-278-1896. When you call, ask for this man. Just say you want to talk to Yes Boss. <laughs> <laughs> His real name is hey, Richard Yabua. But how do you Yes Boss? Who was all that? Can Yes Boss? Yes Boss will discuss all the risks with you and what we can do for you online to let your business grow once you're situated with the talk shop. In the meantime, in between time, I almost signed off like I was on the KSM show, but no, this isn't the KSM show. So folks, until we meet again, truth crash to earth shall rise again. See ya. <laughs>